<sighs> God, that stage is bad. Target and the girl have been located. Acquiring targets. En route to intercept and destroy. What the? Please, Shadow, help me. Humans willing to sacrifice their own when overcome by greed. They are a foolish race. Those heartless humans, get out of my way. So, uh, I hope you like those SA2 callbacks, because I'm surprised I haven't mentioned this until now, but this is is a direct remix of the, um, gun, like, the gun boss theme from SA2, which, uh, I always thought was a nice callback. Uh, if any game were to remix this theme, it makes sense to, it makes sense for it to be this one. Because there's no real reason for them to fight gun again after this. So this is a really easy boss. <laughs> Literally all the bosses can be, uh, all these bosses can come down to find gun, wear on boss until die, win. <laughs> There's not much to this. And then I die because I don't have a ring. Okay. Critical damage taken to fuselage. We're losing. Ah! <sighs> I mean this It's How more dare you harm Maria, disgusting. <laughs> it's more out of my sight. It's more entertaining than um, the Eggman boss we had earlier, I guess. Mm, perfect. I forgot Eggman was a boss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think we have to do the dark mission here. Um, I don't remember what the goal is, but... How many levels are in this route? Um, it's just this and one more before the, before the boss. Oh, this great cutscene. Huh? What the? How can this be? Who are you? <laughs> Listen up, Shadow Androids. The Eggman fleet is strong, but those black creatures are a formidable adversary. I must return to the base to devise a new plan. Shadow? Android? Am I an android too? Oh my god. <laughs> Their character model's better. <laughs> okay, let's just make sure about this. Okay, yeah, we have to we have to help out, man. Alright. Are you the original? If you are searching for Eggman, he's fleeing aboard his airship, the Egg Balloon. If you wish to confront him, then help me ground his vessel. I, 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 I suppose that is a nice callback to the end of Team Dark Story and Harris, where um, Omega ends up finding a room full, full of like shadow androids. So I'd like to think that's a that's like a follow up to that. Maybe not intended as one, but I can I can I can imagine. All right, let, let, let's let's have some fun. And grab the right weapon. Yeah. 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 It's just fun sucking a bunch of stuff up, and when it overflows, you get like items or something. 
It's not useful for big guys like this, but most of the time you, it's pretty much just used for small fry, but it, uh, it, it it's, it's just kind of fun just like, move, like getting around and just holding the B button down. Nah, I'm good. We'll do this instead. Oh man. Thankfully, this stage is is much much easier and um, uh, a lot more straightforward than the last one, so we won't be here very long. All right. Gotta love small, uh, slow platforming segments in the Sonic game. Oh god. I haven't mentioned this yet either, but these shadow boxes I'm getting um, hold these special items, and um, every every time you finish an ending, um, well obviously not every time, but when you finish all the endings, after that you won't get any more special items, but regardless, it, finishing these and en the endings give you access to these special weapons. Um, and they're pretty much just random fun that are either just dead for enjoyment factor or are just generally really powerful weapons that make make it make your playthrough a bit easier than it would be otherwise. So they're, they're a good they're a neat addition. Blowing everything up. Okay. Oh, we're almost done. I have a use for the doctor. I won't let you humans interfere with my plans. <laughs> Perfect. Do I love how some stages in this game are like relatively short and then you have stages that go on for like 20 minutes? game for you. Mm. Oh, yay. Oh, so th th <laughs> th this is probably one of the most pathetic bosses in video game history right here. You'll see it. You'll see why in a minute. And Omega? Why you traitors? For size, it's, it's literally just the same bosses, uh, the same Eggman boss we fought earlier, Doctor, except he has like la laser I eyes, I think. Those androids, the ones that look like me, am I? Yes. What? You and Omega are my creations, but you betray me as you stand here before me. So now I will destroy you both, turning you into scrap metal. Eggman, I will defeat you once and for all. Okay, so just walk, uh, run behind, jump in this, and just shoot him wildly. And that's the boss. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> Me? I don't believe you. I honestly can't think of any- I honestly can't think of any other boss that's more perfect than that. That wasn't even 10 seconds. I think even the character battles in the adventure games when you weren't intentionally glitching them were harder than that. Yeah. This makes- Five Chaos Emeralds. Like, uh, yeah, they... 
The day that, of reckoning is near. You'd have more, all of the chaos more trouble fighting Knuckles in SA1. Immediately. Uh, okay. Six. Two more, yeah. and then the truth about my past will be revealed. I'll finally know. What are some of the who easiest bosses you can think of? Shadow. We seem to have a problem. With Rival rats. battles and Sonic Heroes. Right yeah, I suppose so. Well, I mean, like, that's like. Comet, you just kind of spam Tornado. The Black Comet? Uh. Hmm. What about, like, anything, like, outside of Sonic? Like, anything that comes to mind? There's one. Oh, yeah, that's true. The, um. Bowser Jr. fights. Koopa and Super Mario World. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so... We are doing... We're doing the dark ending for this, right? So? Alright. Okay, just, just making sure. So, we have to... Pretty much just killed all the gun soldiers there, so I just want another one of these stages, but thankfully, um, the, um, I, I don't mind exploring the Black Comet, it's, um, it's definitely, like, re it reeks of edgy grittiness, but yeah, it's, a un it's a unique set piece for this series, so I can't complain, I, I can't complain too much. This thing's too slow. So the humans have decided to play their hand, have they? Go, show them your true power, uh, Absorb some of the red liquid. Why speak? Uh, so how do you how do you feel about them bringing in aliens and whatnot to Shadow's backstory? Death to all who oppose me. Indifferent. Yeah, that's fair. I've grown kind of numb to it over time. Like, this isn't even a peak of crazy sonic edginess that we get into? Yeah, that's, that's true. This is going to be the final showdown, Shadow. I'll tear up this alien comet with my hands. Yeah, we're not hand. gonna worry about Knuckles. Or not have a Sega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right? I've grown more... I don't want to say fond, but I've definitely gotten used to the the, uh, the Black Arms over time. I don't think they're great villains or anything, but they could have been a lot worse, and um... Yeah. <laughs> I never really mentioned it again, so it's like... Yeah. Sega doesn't dwell on it, so I guess neither should we. Yeah. Also, um, don't, don't try going into this weird substance, because you will fall and die immediately. Well, too bad I need to do that to move on. <laughs> you gotta love that. Only just touching, or like only just touching the surface of the Lovecraftian demonic horrors in the Sonic universe. Yeah. Oh boy. Again, weird nostalgic flashbacks to uh, the Super Gaming Brothers playthrough of Sonic 06 now. Oh, I just loved the multiplayer uh, portion of that where Elliot just gets destroyed by meteors. Playing a platformer, he just exists to suffer. Yeah. What? Uh, uh you okay there, subtitles? <laughs> what, what was that? The. God, it's just like that one moment in Soccer of Six when Shadow's just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he's, like he's really screaming, but the subtitles like, like, ugh. <laughs> it's also hilarious what if you're just running down the uh, running down the area, and um, it's like, oh, I'm just, I'm just going through casually, and then just sudden like, uh, like just random massive like loud yell. I think I'm numb to like guns now. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> for, <laughs> for what, it, what it's worth, um, the uh, the gunplay, unironically, is one of the better parts of the game. <laughs> it's mainly thanks to the auto lock on. Like, if it didn't have one, this it would be really annoying, but most of the time you can just kind of run and shoot and not have to worry too much. So that kind of helps with the flow. It's really, this stage really does look like a dry run for like the post-apocalyptic future stages in Sonic 06. Yeah, a little bit. See that. Spe Speaking of guns, I don't know why I haven't talked about this yet, but um, the reason this game, well, one of the reasons, uh, besides Shadow just being really popular and all that, um, the reason why they have gunplay in this game is literally because um, teenagers at the time wanted Sonic to have a gun. Um, and it, and it, Se Sega were pretty much just, okay, well. Sonic probably himself probably wouldn't fit too well, so let's let's just br like have Shadow have his own game and have him wield weapons, because uh, yeah that'll work. And to be fair, again, that is one of the better parts of the game, but the concept alone is still ridiculous. I not use Tails or Eggman, the actual characters who use guns in prior games. I mean, I suppose. I mean, the thing with Tails is that um, it's usually connected to like a mech or a machine. He's never he he doesn't really use firearms like by hand. So I, I don't know. I feel like that would be a bit out of place. To make it a mech game that's like an on rail shooter. <laughs> oh, that could work maybe. Egg Eggman would be pretty fun though. I'm not sure how that would work, but I'd be down. Um... Hmm. Eggman really needs that episodic adventure game. Yeah. Him doing his errands. I just want more playable characters again. Like... I'm not necessarily asking for a hundred different playstyles again or anything like that, but I just want to be able to play as someone that's not like Sonic or whatever, like Forces was a step in the right direction with the OC and Shadow for like a DLC episode, um, but yeah, I don't know. I I want to be able to play as like Tails and Knuckles and like, I don't know, Amy or Blaze or something again. I get Blaze exists sometimes. Yeah, she's not in that many games. I don't know. Another thing that would be cool, uh, since we're talk like playing this game, is like ha have like a spin-off where Team Dark just go off and and uh, just go like do a bunch of missions from Gun because they're all. I don't know. I don't know about Omega, Omega but. Rouge and Shadow are gun agents by this point, by um, that point in the series, and even it's even um, kind of a plot point in Shadow's DLC and Forces, where like um, he, like Team Darker, basically set out to do missions and whatnot. So it's I don't know if they like. If they do make like a um, Shadow the Hedgehog 2 light, um, not necessarily make it like edgy, 
<laughs> edgy look, edgy pants like this game or anything. But just have it so it's just Team Dark, just kind of doing, doing a bunch of random missions that they're in, they're, they're assigned to. Um, I think that could be fun. It could, it could also, that could also be a good way to bring back the heroes gameplay, or something. The same just makes Dark Heroes too because I can get behind that. I mean, either way works. Yeah, I, I would honestly. Um, I don't. This is probably unpopular, but I actually prefer Heroes 2 before an SA3. Like it. it honestly, you already got SA3. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so clever. A, a good, a good one, then. Let the humans await their final judgment day. Uh, um, but no, I, it, I legitimately think that if I, if we got a Heroes 2, <laughs> with refined controls, and every team had unique stages, or at least unique areas, um, it could honestly become, like, one of my favourite games in the series. Because Heroes already, it, like, hit, hits a lot of the right boxes for me. Shadow, I can't let you go. Not like this. You! You're the one who destroyed the Ark and killed everyone on it! It's time to settle this once and for all! <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, I know it, 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 it's... Is there anything you'd like them to do if they tried another Shadow game? They're going to pay. Pay with their lives. Get up like an 80s action film. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. Sonic, if you try to stop me, I'll destroy you too. The president has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you a bad enough hedgehog to save the day? <laughs> oh, that would be great. Now let's finish. I never thought I'd have to fight you like this, but I guess I have no choice. Okay, so um This is kind of, this is widely considered to be the most annoying boss in the game. Uh, because we we fought this once before, but um is you have Sonic running around, just kind of being a general nuisance, and you need him to... So you need him so you can get up to, um, the Diab Diablon. <laughs> um, because otherwise, like, he's just too high. So after a, a decent amount of damage, he'll fall down, and he'll kind of slowly whittle down his health bar, and, uh, it just takes forever. It's not in... It's not exactly difficult, it's just a massive health sponge, and you don't exactly have a lot of weapons to work with her. But yeah, this is the final boss of the story. I'm there just we go. not amused by this. Yeah. Yeah, there's no cool special attack like in the like in SA2 or whatever. It, he just kind of aimlessly runs around and kind of stands there all the time. Fun little mana references roll in this game. Yeah. Oh man. Damn it. <laughs> Cars and his children here. Don't know what Sonic was running off to. Oh, you just slapped Sonic out of the way. That was great. Okay, I want to get I want to get Chaos Blast open because um that yeah this gives you infinite ammo, so I can just wait on, on this guy now. You're better off doing this than using Chaos Blast, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't do if you don't do that do that, this fight goes on for an eternity. Game over, Sonic. Yeah, so no, it's another callback to SA2 because Sonic said the same thing to women uh, hero story. Those aliens also have red stripes on them. Yeah. Like I've seen the stripes appear and disappear. For... Hmm. I don't know if that's a that's a, a screen share bug. 
because I haven't I haven't been noticing the Sonic just looks sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. Insanely bright emeralds for some reason. Shadow. Why? Why are you siding with them? I'm the coolest. <laughs> I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. The ultimate life form born to protect and serve the Dark Lord, Black Doom. With the power of these Chaos Emeralds, this world will become the Dark Empire. This is who I am. Yeah, but why did you join them? <laughs> I like how a lot of this, a lot of the ending uh, quotes are just people asking a simple question, and then Shadow just like random line of line about something. This is who I am. Yeah, that's great in all shadow, but like that's not why I asked. <laughs> so uh that happened. <sighs> so any closing thoughts before these credits end? I'll say if this was all the game was it, it could be a cult classic. <laughs> Oh my, I mean, it already is a cult classic, if maybe not for the right reasons, but... Mm. <laughs> it's honestly better than I was expecting it to be, but maybe I got one of the good routes. Uh, that's surprising, actually, because I'd consider... I'd consider this one of the w <laughs> one of the weaker ones. So I get, I mean... I mean, pure hero, um is usually considered the worst one just for the artificial chaos mission um but yeah the, the the mission list we went through with this with this playthrough um there are some highlights uh in there but i do feel like this was this is probably one of the worst playthroughs i've done so far so uh i mean if, if the if this if this was better than you ex than you expected, and this was one of one of the worst worst playthroughs, then I don't know. That might. I mean, I don't know. I will say this, um, if it's any, if it means anything, um, after replaying this game for this, for this, uh, LP, I have grown to, I'm not gonna say like, I, I still don't like this game, but I do, I have some form of appreciation for it now, like, it's nowhere near as bad as I remember, um, and the drama. Hmm? Stockholm Syndrome? Maybe. Because uh, I did have a long time period where I did legitimately hate this game and think it was like, one of the worst games. But, yeah, I, I, I'd st I played... I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down on record saying this. Um, I'd rather... i play this over 06, Secret Rings, and Chad Crystal. Um, and maybe some others. I'm not sure. What, you mean Shadow Crystal or Rise of Lyric? Shad Crystal specifically, because um, that game is just horribly like that game is like designed like a collector fun, but it isn't. It has a level design that goes against it. Like yeah, you you're pretty much forced to one hundred percent the game to get to the final boss, um, and it's just it has levels that go on for like thirty minutes, and it's just tiring. And the whole game's like that. Like, the, the, um... I don't know. Like, technically, technically it's more... solid than Shadow the Hedgehog is. But... I'd rather- I'd still rather play this game because... it doesn't... have, like, really... really cryptic level design where you don't know where... You don't know whether or not a path's gonna gonna take you to a 
um, like a no way, uh, what's the term, like, no turning back kind of thing, or it's gonna be like a secret area, and you have to keep, that's a constant problem throughout the whole game, um, so, you know, at least with this game, you know exactly what you're doing, uh, and the level design, with some, with some exceptions, like the indoor arc levels that we saw earlier, um, it's not usually confusing, um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's still, I, I still wouldn't call this a good game, and I still don't particularly like it that much, but, uh, I do think it's at least... I, I do think there's more to like about this one than there are th than there is to like about some of the other quote unquote bad Sonic games. Um, so I, I don't know. It's it's some it's in this is an interesting game. I guess I, it's what I'm trying to say. I didn't mean to go on a run about that. Oh, so you got anything else to say? I didn't hate watching this. I, I honestly enjoy. Yeah. I kind of. It's kind of refreshing to go back to a story-heavy Sonic game after so many years. Yeah, I can agree with that. Like as as. I mean, the writing's good, but the, yeah, it's, it, but the the writing is is is. The writing is still bad in this game, but there's always something charming I find about like story story heavy Sonic games. They were earnest. Yeah, they're they were stupidly earnest. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the charm I find where like uh like <laughs> the modern Sonic games um are kinda I always say I always say this, but they feel like parodies of themselves a lot of the time when where they feel like they they know they're silly and try way too hard to crack jokes and try try to make you laugh constantly where I feel like the games before that like including this one um like the, the whole concept is silly like like talking at, like anthropomorphic animals like doing stuff, like, and being in these situations is silly just by concept, but a lot of the charm comes from the fact that they tell the story so straight, and, uh, I don't know, I, a lot of me kind of wants, uh, this, wants this kind of style back, not, not necessarily the storytelling in this game, but I just want them to tell a genuine story again without going into parador parody territory again, because uh, if they try, I think a Sonic story could legitimately be pretty good, because there, ha there have been moments of brilliance in the series before. Uh, but... I mean, honestly, this game might have been better if it actually just played itself as a joke. Mm. <laughs> This could have been, if this game released now, we would think of it as a parody of Jack 2. <laughs> yeah, I can feel that. If they ever do a Shadow the Hedgehog 2, like, I'm wondering if they should just kind of... It's all down to the execution. You can either go play it earnestly and get this lovable disaster piece, <laughs> or you can... Or you can actually be in on the joke and... Play it up as like some kind of crazy 80s action movie that was rediscovered in the modern era. I feel yeah, I feel like if done right, that could be a lot of fun. Um, because I do, yeah. I mean, done done right, I wouldn't mind see, seeing a shadow too because, um, like move, moving past all the flaws, there's some there's a legitimately pretty great game buried underneath all this all the garbage. So, I don't know. It, it's an interesting one. Um, but we still got... How many places? 
playthroughs we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We still got more, uh, three more playthroughs before we uh, before we get to final story. Um, so we we're getting there, but still got some ways to go. Uh, so uh, do you have anything else to say or? Tanner, but any of these sessions yet? Nope. He wants to be in one of these. Um, maybe. Uh, but regardless, uh, I'll see you guys next time for whatever story path ends up happening. So goodbye for now, I guess. Look forward to being in the big cluster friendly final story session. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, if I can, if my mouse will. Allow me to get to the stop recording button, that'll be great.